unfolding the eternal excellences, the hidden insights of the truth, and the depth of the riches of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have not pointed to your weaknesses. He says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have pointed to your strength. And this is your strength, that I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. The glory of freedom, the glimpses into eternity. The gospel is not supposed to be an assumption. It's not supposed to be just a mere presupposition. Truth is older than language, but the word of God is way deeper than any human language. And now, Apostle Grace with the word. Tell your neighbor something is happening. I'm excited in my body. Hallelujah. We decided to do Healing Chronicles today. The reason why we decided to do that is because people are sick. Some people are sick. Hallelujah. And um, we shall be doing them as we are led by the Holy Spirit and inspired of God too until we see healing as, as bread for people. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So, if you're sick tonight, I want to tell you, you go, you're going to get healed. You're going to get healed. It doesn't matter which disease. It doesn't matter what the doctors say. It doesn't matter what you think you have. It doesn't matter what you think is in you. Tonight you're getting healed. Praise the Lord. I'm not speaking statements of only faith, but statements of knowledge. I know our God. Hallelujah. So, but the, 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 the mode, the, the kind of message I'm going to preach, even if you're not sick, praise the Lord, and you have a particular need, it will work. Praise the Lord. It will work. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Alright, let's just open heaven. Let's just speak a few things in the spirit realm. I, if you can speak in tongues, speak in tongues. If you can speak English, you speak English. If you if you have a maintain your say. Just sharara baba. We're gonna worship God. We're gonna worship God. We're gonna worship God. Mara baba baba kasha kata la baba baba. Raba baba ba rebo kose kete le ba raba baba ba. Zile le le ba ra 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 ba 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 ba. Randa ra ba 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 ra ba 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 kasha la 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 ba 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 ba. Somebody speak in other tongues. Mara ra ba 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 ra 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 ba 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 ba. Zile le le ma ra 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 ba 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 ra 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 ba 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 ba. Shalala ma ra 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 ba 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 ra 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 ba 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 ba. Zile le 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 ma ra 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 ba 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 ra 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 ba 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 ba. Somebody speak in other tongues. Zile le 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 ma ra ra ba 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 ba. Ah, the power of God is here and His presence. His presence is here. Ma ra 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 ba 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 ba. Zile le 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 ma ra 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 ba 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 ba. His presence is here. Ma ra 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 ba ba ba. Zile le 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 ma ra 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 ba 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 ba. Zile le 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 ma ra 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 ba ba. Some people are getting healed now. Some people are getting healed now. Ra 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 ba 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 Somebody take it deeper. Somebody take it deeper. 
of which it is impossible for God to lie. The presence of God is here. Somebody raise your voice. Somebody's child is getting healed right now. I see God heal somebody's child. I see a little toad with a breathing issue.
Jesus Christ, I think about your sacrifice.
Christ. Shout until the whole of Kampala hears you. Yes, you 
understand who I'm talking about. I'll give you one more chance. To Mosinilo yo. Tell your neighbor it is working. It's in the arena. Praise God. Praise the Lord. If, if pain left you when we were praising and singing and worshiping, put up your hand. You came with pain and it left. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. If, if pain left you when was worshiping and praising, you stand up so they see. Hey, what was wrong with your back? Your backbone, come and tell us. Even you come and tell us. Come, you come. Come and testify. We have some time. Get them a mic. Get them a mic. Sorry. Get them a mic. Where is the mic? Shut Allah, Baba. Tell us what the Lord has done for you. I got my back when I came here. Wait. Uh -huh. I had back pain when I came here. You had back pain. How long has it been? It has been like two weeks back. Uh -huh. So the doctor told me, I think I need to do a lot of exercises. Listen, uh -huh. I told him if I did exercise, I have to be at the of this evening. Uh -huh. But I feel much better. Shandara, Baba, Baba, Yes, listen. Hallelujah! Listen. Hallelujah! I came with a sore throat. A sore My eyes throat. were paining. My leg always hurt. But I was jumping, not feeling any pain. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have had a migraine. It's on and off for at least two weeks. It's on and off. Mm. Like every time I happen to be there, it's there. But now I am free. I have been set free. Praise, God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have had a back pain like for the last um, almost two years now. Two years? Two years. What couldn't you do in two years? The last I two years? Like I couldn't stand for a long time. Uh. I couldn't just sit. I you have to take my times. I couldn't. So I can't even do my personal housework properly. What happened tonight? When we were praying, I told God, God, today. Today, I'm living here a different person. Wait, Amen. I'm healed. Wait a minute. I don't know what you're suffering from. I don't know whether you're looking for it. I don't know what you want. But I want you to get a hold of that word and say, God, today. Tell God today, something must happen. Look at all this. Uh -huh. Tell us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise Jesus. Uh -huh. I want to bless the Lord as, as we were worshipping. The pain I had since the last time they diagnosed me, the doctor said I had a cyst fluids around. A what? A cyst. A swelling. Yes. Uh -huh. But today as we were, as we were, when you started worshipping, the pain persisted. But when we started singing the praise that Jehovah turns my life around, my God, I just pray. My God. I turned the song and I started saying, Jehovah turns my health around. Mm. And as I was continuing, I just realized that the pain had stopped. But it was so much, the pain was so much, I was feeling it all over around. But now I feel I'm really Praise God. 
Praise God! Praise God! I thank God. Like since morning, I had a, okay, I had a problem whereby every time the stomach is paining me, when I take long to eat, like since morning, I had not eaten something. But when I came, my stomach was paining. We jumped, I jumped, I like dancing for the Lord. By the time I was done, I feel no more pain in my life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, brother. For me, I had pain in, in my stomach for almost two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. But when I was dancing, that pain disappeared. Do you want to dance more? Praise God. It works. Even when you don't want it, it works. Uh-huh. I've had a funny pain in my stomach since about last year. Since and, last year? Yes. And Consistent? Then, uh, uh, okay, it would come once in a while and goes. At least, okay, at least I felt it every day. Mm. And then I had uh, this funny headache and dizziness. Mm. But uh, today, it is gone. Amen. Completely. And it usually came when I shouted on top of my voice. I felt the pain right here. But I can shout and say, Hallelujah! There's no pain. Praise God. There is a lady with a hip problem. Eh? When he was saying that, I saw it. There is a lady with a hip. A pain on your hip. Eh? Gives you too much pain. Come. Come and stand here. Uh-huh. Hello. Uh, I praise the Lord for my life. I had bipolar since 2009. I'm mental illness up to death, but I'm on medication. Uh, I thank Jesus. I thank everyone who was with me in that time of trial. My mom was not here. Everyone, thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Who has the hip? Who has the hip? You have any issues? Huh? Even you. No, you don't need to kneel. Stand up. Hallelujah, Fanelo. Praise God. Uh, I've had pain in the knee for the last over 10 years. Over 10? Yes. Over 10? Yes. What caused it? Okay, uh, I got an accident a long time ago. So whenever I could go for medication, it would come back again. It would so, come back again. So what happened? So when I came in here, I could not walk where I was feeling pain. I could not even dance. You couldn't even dance? Exactly. I was then feeling pain. So as we kept praising and praising and praising, I felt things changing. So I praise God for that. Thank you. For 10 years. Can you dance? Can you jump on it? You can even dance with it. No pain. I used to feel a lot of pain. A lot of pain. A lot of for pain. For 10 years. Over 10 years. No, no pain now. Yes. Do you doubt God? Praise God. I've not even yet started preaching. Praise God, church. Praise Him. I'm so happy. On Tuesday, I was admitted. I had uh, brucella and malaria. And my head was hurting so much. I had flu. I had cough. Yesterday, I was discharged, but I was not so fine. Even today I wasn't going to come, but my friends were like, just come and we go. You people, I'm fine. I'm so Praise fine. God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise the Lord, guys. Uh, for the last two days, I've had a funny pain. It wanted to come, and, but I just kept saying, I don't fall sick. It is not my portion. And when Apostle asked there, that, did anyone come here with pain? And now you don't feel it. I just realized there is nothing Praise at all. Hallelujah. 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 Uh-huh. Praise God. Praise. Those are enough for now. Eh? Uh-huh. May I thank God? Because over 20 years, I had something disturbing in my head. 20? Yes. Uh-huh. But now, I feel I'm somewhere. Okay, raise your hands and then we get rid of somehow also. <laughs> Somebody stretch your hands toward her. Power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, we speak total healing. Total healing. Total healing. It's done. Praise God. 
Uh huh. Those are enough. Don't bring your name on now. I want to preach. A Jesus, oh yeah. A Jesus, oh yeah. Praise God. Uh, <laughs> for the last one week, I've been having pain in my right knee. In, oh, oh. Listen, I, for the I came back one? driving from Gaza and I almost had an accident because of it. But now, a Jesus, oh yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. First of all, I want to thank God that I'm here. I haven't been here for many times. But God has been good to me. I've had ulcers for eight years. Eight years to a point where I could even, they, they became bloody. But ever since I came here, things have been becoming better. Till now, I don't even need medication. God is good. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Praise God, Fenero. Hallelujah. For five days since Monday, my knee was hurting. So when we came here, Pastor said it is working. Me, I said it must work. I knelt down. Then when we finished praising and worshiping, I feel my, my leg is okay. But right now what I'm realizing, I came in wearing glasses. I could not look into that light. And I can imagine I can look into the light. Your eyes. Yes, the glasses are there. Bring the glasses. <laughs> now you see your, your side is very clear. Yes, because the problem is the light. So I was putting them on. Roberta told me, you're going to get healed from your, the, your eyes. Then I told her, okay, but I can't, I can't see. I need to put on the, what? the glasses because the light is too much. But when I came here, that's why I was hiding behind people because I couldn't look but just to come up I can look praise God <laughs> you're healed throw away those glasses Father we thank you because it shall stay so in Jesus name <laughs> that's enough don't bring more people eh? I need to uh-huh. praise God praise him. I thank the Lord so much I never wanted to come here when you called people I remained seated but the heart insisted and the head headache came. I had a kidney I had a kidney problem for since two thousand seven. But as we were singing, even I was feeling pain this side of the kidney, but now I'm fine. Since two thousand and seven. Since two thousand seven. Praise God. Hallelujah. We've not even yet prayed. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. I thank God for I have managed to come here. Today in the morning, I called some young brother of mine, I guess he's around. He told me, Lydia, come. You're going to get your healing today. For the last 11 years, I've been HIV positive. And I came telling the Lord that God, I believe, through worshiping in that place, I'm going to receive my healing. God. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, as I was coming, the border border guy was like, I was like, please hurry up. So we almost hit a car. Nemugamba, ah, please slow down. Nengamba, Holy Spirit, through worshiping in that place. I'm going to get my healing. So, please hold those guys until when I come in. I came in. I found uh, they, are, they are not yet started. I said, thank you, Lord. So, when we started worshiping, I said, Father, I thank you because I've received my healing. Amen. And I thank God because today is my day. And I've received my healing from today onward. I'll be testing HIV negative. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Because no disease, no bondage shall partake her life again ever. Every virus is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every affliction is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. It's yours. Praise the Lord. 
Um, me, I'm testifying on I had a tooth problem. Last week, I met Papa Isaiah. I wanted to tell him about it because the doctor told me I had an infection because I went through a root canal, but the pain was still there. So when I met him, instead of talking, I went speechless. I looked at him like a photo. So um, I wanted to come today. Like when he started praying, I kept saying, uh, these things don't happen. The first miracle I saw was here. So that's why it took long to decide to come because I still feel it will still come. Because, okay, the pain has gone. <laughs> okay, I still... we understand. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Because that pain will not come back again. In Jesus' name. Let me minister to these ladies and get out of here. Come, one at a go, one at a go, one at a go. I think we'll get an interpreter because some people don't speak English and it's a healing meeting. Eh? Me tell. Uh huh. Hip one by one. Surgery. Uh huh. What's wrong with your hip? Can you. Huh? One hip is not proportional. Is it paining? It burns? Yeah, they told me from the hospital that I have inadequate pelvix. Pelvix. So all my four kids are caesarean. So you have pain now? I have pain. All right. And it burns. And it burns. Yes. All right, just raise your hands right now. We're going to minister healing to her father. We thank you. We thank you, God. I want you to do something you've not done before in that heap. Start to do something you've not done before. Stretch. Start to stretch. Stretch and bend and tell us what you're feeling. We glory to Buddy the Chicho Ulida. That is your God. Hallelujah. Amen. How long have you had that pain? I don't know. For so long? Yeah. For the first time you can do that? Yes. You could not do that without pain? Not do. It was even affecting the knee. Last week I was limping. You were limping? Yeah. Now. <laughs> now. The other thing I want you to do. You are telling me that they were not balanced. I want you to check your legs whether they are balanced. Now. 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 But now, oh. Wait, it was a hip, eh? Yeah. Uh-huh, wait, wait, wait. Uh-huh. One was what? It was in balance. This one was okay, but this one was inside. Now, what has happened to this one? They are equal. Praise God. <laughs> Why don't you just believe? <laughs> you may be seated. Yes. What's wrong with your hip? I feel a pain. Like my waist, I can't stand so strong for so long. And can you bend well or you have feel pain? As in, I just feel that internal, it's just disorganized, my, from this part to this side. And then I have this cough, I cough like, like I'm, I'm swallowing some okay. funny things. All right, raise your hands. There's someone here, you ate meat a few days ago. And your stomach started to develop abnormal gas from that day, but it has been long. If you don't want, that's your problem. I saw you eat meat. And the meat disorganized your stomach. And your stomach said to have abnormal gas. And I see that there is a disease in your stomach. And you've been pondering to go to the doctor. But you didn't want to go. If you refuse, it's up to you. Praise God. Raise your hands. Somebody stretch your hands towards this. Woman. 
Holy Ghost we thank you. Moyo mtukufu tukoe baza. Holy Ghost we thank you. Moyo mtukufu tukoe baza. Holy Ghost we thank you. Moyo mtukufu tukoe baza. In the name of Jesus. Mulinye ya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Mulinye ya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Mulinye ya Yesu. Next. Omulala. I just want for the these ones I will do when I've come. One to go, one to go. Don't worry. Omomo. Uh-huh. Yes. Pain. How long has it been? Four months. Emeze na agogo. Raise your hands. Some just stretch your hands toward her. Wabe wa problem mikono jeri omchale. Father we thank you. Tata tukwebas. Father we thank you. Tata tukwebas. Because it goes now. Kubanga chike ndakat. That pain goes now. Obulumyo bobuge ndakat. That spirit goes now. It goes now. It goes now. Buge ndakat. 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 It goes now. It goes now. I want you to check your hip. Check it. Do something you couldn't do. Wake me the kola choba deto sobola kola. Are you feeling pain? Ochawu ni dogurungi. It's gone. Totally. Totally. No pain. No pain. Speak so they can hear. I've been feeling pain for the last four months. But the minobulu I wake up, I can't walk, I can't walk. That's so much pain. I'm feeling better. Praise God. How are you feeling? What you tell you? I felt I felt something lifting from this height and getting up. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Okay. Raise your hands. <laughs> Meet people. I see something in your stomach. It's like a meba. I don't know whether doctors understand that. I rebuke that spirit of infirmity and in Jesus' name. I'm coming. Zidia. Yes. Your hip issue? Huh? What's your problem? Your back is collapsed. Disc collapsed. My legs. I cannot walk, especially this right leg. I cannot lift. Uh, bending is a problem when i woke up to stand it's a problem i feel these muscles are very painful and i've had that problem since last year august till till now yes have you had the issue of this woman muli den songa yom chalo no raise your hands right you must come on god is going to make an operation on you katonda agenda kulongo sakat he's not going to heal you only tagenda kuonya buonya You're going to be like a newborn child. Holy Spirit, we thank you. 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 You crippling spirit. Get out of her in the name of Luma. Ulambwe muri nyeri ya Yesu. to do everything you could not do and go kola buli choba de tosobola ko everything you could not and go kola buli choba de tosobola ko and kutama start to do everything you could and go kola buli choba de tosobola ko praise god do it just do it you could not do the pain is going praise god it's going just continue It's gone. <laughs> Within a few seconds you're going to be jumping. Okay, na kubobuka mbuseko ndo budako butono. Thank you Lord Jesus. Wewe ni muhimu tukufu. 
Thank you Lord Jesus. Wewe bali Yesu. It's going. It's going. It's going. Pastor my I'm be checking on how while I minister to these ones I want to preach. Raise your hands. Stomach issues eh? Okay. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Because your presence is here. In the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke that spirit of infirmity and disease. We command healing right now. We command healing right now. We command healing right now. Go, devil. We command healing right now. Go. We command healing right now. Go. We command healing right now. 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 Receive your healing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. There is there is there is. Receive it. Receive it. Next. I would just want to lay my hands on that one. Sereboro costele maranda. In the name of Jesus, we command that spirit of infirmity and disease to leave. Go. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a mighty hand clap of praise. Since it's a stomach issue, they'll have time, yes. You've been having pain, uh huh? A burning pain in your hip. All right. Okay, raise your hands right now. Raise your hand right now. Skin, okay, raise your hands. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus, we speak healing. We speak healing. We speak healing. You devil go. Go. Go in Jesus' name. I want you to check yourself and say, "Are you still feeling pain?" It's gone. Praise God. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. I need three women to bless this woman financially. Three. The first three here. Bring money. Bring money. Three women. I don't want a man. Bless her. Mama, how are you? I'm I'm getting fine. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mukama eva sibi. I said three. Okay. God still bless you. <laughs> okay, you may be seated. Can I preach now because I'm going to kunjiri. Mulekera o. Stop. Go jamu after. Bana. You will give her after. Sipule mesa mukisa. Okay. Praise God. Mukama eva sibi. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's somebody with a problem in your ears. God is going to heal you tonight. Praise the Lord. I see arthritis is going to get healed tonight. Arthritis. I see arthritis is going to be healed tonight. Praise God. Praise God. I see someone around there with sinuses. Somebody around there with sinuses. Lady in 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 uh, in uh, Are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm fine. The one in cream. Are you okay? Ah, uh, cream or Come. Jang. That lady in cream. Come. <laughs> the other one. Oh. No, uh, uh, uh. The other one. Not that one. The other one. The one with the blue inside. The one with the light blue. The one with the light blue. Cream and light blue. You know yourself. Cream and light blue. Cream and light blue. Yes. Cream and light blue. Cream and light blue. Fourth time. Cream and light blue. The one laughing. Cream and light blue. Come. I need to tell you. Come. Yes, you. Hey, Jesus.
can prick sometimes and block one of the noses. You understand what I mean? Okay, I want to pray for you. Father God, preserve our health. Preserve our health. Preserve our health. Preserve our health. Whatever the enemy had planned against it is destroyed right now. It is destroyed right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. John chapter 14 Let's begin with verse 25 Okay, let's start to read I want to read school. He says, these things have I spoken unto you Being yet what? With you Uh huh but the comforter which is, what? which is the Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you he says peace I leave you and my peace I give you not as the world giveth give I unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid for you have heard how I said unto you I go away and come again unto you he says if you would rejoice if you love me you would rejoice because I said I go unto the father for my father is greater than I and now I have told you before it come to pass that when it is come to pass that when it is come to pass ye might believe next verse hereafter Jesus said I will not talk much with you for the prince of this world cometh and has nothing in it let's go back to the 26th give me the message version 27th let's read Uh read one to three go the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send at my request will make everything plain to you and he will remind you of all the things I have Told you. told you. Next verse. Let's read. I'm leaving you well and well. I'm leaving you well and well. I am leaving you well. That's my parting gift to you. Peace. He says, I don't leave you the way you're used to being left. That place of feeling like you're abandoned. Bereft. Uh-uh. So don't be upset. Don't be distraught. You've heard me tell you. I'm going away. And I'm coming back. If you love me, you'll be glad that I'm on my way to the Father. Because the Father is the goal and purpose of my life. I've told you this ahead of time. Before it happens. So that when it does, when it does, happen. The confirmation will deepen your belief in me. He says, I will not be talking to you much like this. Because the chief of this godless world is about to attack. But he says, but don't worry. He has nothing on me. No claim on me. The kingdom says he has nothing in me. The message version says he has nothing on me. The Tell your neighbor the devil has nothing in me. And he has nothing on me. Tell your neighbor again, tell him the devil has nothing on me. And the devil has nothing in me. Say it again the third time. The devil has nothing in me. And he also has nothing on me. This is Jesus telling his disciples about what is about to come. He tells them, I'm about to leave. But I'm about to come back again. But I'll not come back in the way that you expect me to come back. He says, I'm going to come back in another way. 
And when I do, I'm telling you this now, says that you believe me because you know they might not believe. And he says, I have, I have many things to say, but I can't say because the prince of this world has nothing. Think the mind of the spirit. If, if Jesus thought that the devil had something in him the devil would be worth, would be worth time doctor has a right to come back and the time to you to have a cesarean that doctor has the place to pick out those because he left something in you now the one I'm talking about I don't have to explain it he has nothing 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 how can I start talking there is much to say but what do you want to talk about what should I say there is nothing of the devil in me the word is just satanic in the mood some people are still in deliverance. There are people who spend their time in deliverance. And they are in 10 years of deliverance. Because the devil kept something in there. I don't know the understand what I'm trying to tell you. What kept them in deliverance? Every time they walk, they feel they have something of the devil. They have cancer. 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 Some people keep for the devil. But Jesus says, I, 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 I don't have much time. I I don't have much time to waste because the devil has nothing in me. He has nothing on me. I don't know you understand what he said. He said, I'm going to come back. And I must tell you so you know when I come. But I told you, I'm not going to come. Tell you you get it. I have certain things to tell you. But I don't know you understand what he said. He said, I'm going to come back. And I must tell you so you know when I come. But I told you, I'm not going to come. But when I look at myself, this is, I realize that the prince of this world has nothing in me. He has nothing. I have too much to tell you. But I don't have the time to say. Who is your demon attacked to us? Who gave you unto your own? Who gave you unto your own? Who made you eat? 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 Mugwe, in you, Mugwe. The devil kept nothing. Tiny, 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 come. Oh, now I'm about to go deep. Now I'm about to go deep. Sometimes I think, Urumundo was. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, was bold enough to say that the devil has nothing in me and nothing on me. He, he, he checked himself every day. And he looked and one, he realized the devil has nothing. Now the Bible says this was the mystery. <laughs> that was hid from the edges and now is Christ in us Christ in us Christ in us the hope of glory that means if he's in the inside of you and the devil has nothing in him and has nothing on him what can be in you Ephesians 4.27 says Give no place to the devil Because some people give the devil place As they they, 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 they have 
They have a place for the Holy Ghost. They have a place for prayer. They have a place for their family. They have a place for their relationship. They also have a place for the devil. And because they have a place for the devil, they also have some time for the devil. Just as you said, let, let, let me give my heart time. Let me give my work time. Let me give Jesus time. Let me give the work 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 time. But you want to kill me because the word of God has no place. My words have no place. They have no place. That is why you want to kill me. But listen to this mind. Paul says, no, Paul says, yes, I know that you are Abraham's seed. I know that you are Abraham's seed. But you want to kill me because my word has no place in your heart. The book of Galatians says that when he was speaking of Abraham's seed, he didn't say as of seeds many, but as of seed which is one, and the seed which is Christ. He says, Galatians 3 says, now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He said not and two seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thine seed, which is Christ. That means when God says Abraham's seed, and not Abraham's seeds, he's speaking of one Abraham's seed, which is Christ. Now here he's saying, I know that you are Christ, but the word of God has no place. I know that the anointing which is on me Christ, is the same anointing in you. But the word of God has no place in your heart. You can raise the dead. But the word of God has no place in your heart. You can open blind eyes. But the word of God has no place in your heart. You, you can make the lamb walk. But the word of God has no place in your heart. But you give the devil place. So when Jesus says the prince of this world has nothing, directly speaking, I take it that he's directly meaning he ha- he kept nothing. He didn't put on him. He didn't put nothing on him. In and out. Who understands what I'm saying? Who understands what I'm saying? Have we understood to that degree? Ultimate question. Ultimate question. First John. Chapter 5. Verse 11. Let's read. You're about to run mad. Somebody is about to run mad. Uh-huh. The Bible says this is the record. Somebody said this is the record. Say this is the record that God has given to us eternal away. This is the record that God has given unto us eternal away. Are you with me? Eternal life. The life which is of this is the record. I might not know what the devil kept in you. I don't know what the devil kept on you. But I know that you have eternal life. The life which is of God. The Bible says this is the record. That you, you have eternal life. So wait. Next verse. And this is the way. Uh-huh. Let's go back. Eleven. And this is the way. Is in his son. The life of God is in the son of God. Next verse. He 
that hath the son hath the way and he that has not the son has not the way next verse these things have I written unto you that believe on the Lord Jesus and on the name of the son of God that you may edo the Greek word there is no edo come to awareness not gnosko not progressively adapt the life of God is not understood in stages the life of God is embraced by the full awareness that it is in the man that's why the brick word there is a door he says these things have I written and to you that believe on the name of the son of God that you may know that you may may get the awareness that you may get it in your spirit that you may get the affirmation that you may get the confirmation that you may get the ascertainment that you have eternal and that you may believe on the name of the son of God next verse and this is the confidence this is the confidence this is the confidence tell your neighbor this is the confidence we are beyond hope now we are beyond expectations we are in, 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 in confidence he says that this is the confidence that we have in him if we ask anything anything according to his will he heareth Anything. 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 Not something. Anything. According to his will. The Bible says. Bible. He what? Here with us. Do you realize? He didn't say. That if you ask anything according to his will. He answers us. God is not addressing a, an answering issue. He's addressing a hearing issue. Ah. Because the praying in the will is sustained by two distinctions. One, he says, in the name. Anything in the name. Anything in the name. Anything in the name. Can be given. Anything in the name. Anything in the name. The Bible says that he was given a name above every name. That at the sound of that name. At the sound. Do you realize he didn't use the word at the, at the mention. At the saying. Uh-uh. He said at the sound There is a place where it sounded There is a place where somebody can say Jesus But not carry the sound of Jesus In the spirit realm In the spirit realm Physical he can say Jesus But that sound does not resonate in the spirit But it's saying that at the sound At the sound Of that name Every Every knee. He didn't say might bow. He didn't say must bow. He said should bow. Every knee should bow. Of the things in heaven. And of the things in the earth. And of the things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. He said, Every knee should 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 not might not could not may he said every knee should bow I don't know if they understand what I mean he didn't say every knee might bow 
He's not talking about might experiences. He's talking about a shoot every knee should bow. Every knee. Listen, every knee. Every knee should bow. I don't know what you understand what I'm saying. Not might bow. Not could bow. It's not expected to bow. There is a power that causes it to bow. He said every knee should bow. Every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of the Father. Shoot. You have the name of Jesus. That your business should bow. You have the name of Jesus. That your marriage should bow. You have the name of Jesus. That your relationship should bow. You have the name of Jesus. That your education should bow. You have the name of Jesus. That your body should bow. I'm talking of a should experience. Not a might. It's a should. He said, at the calling of that name, every need should bow. That's one. Two. Ask not wavering. Those are the only two things that cause God to hear a man. If a man calls on the name, and if a man doubts not in his heart, if those two things are established in your life, God will move. That's what they call the will. According to his will. According to his will. He willed that nobody gets to the Father except through Christ. And he willed that if a man asks with a double mind, he he should not expect to receive anything. But if a man ask with one mind without doubting without doubting without doubting without I was in my bedroom today. I was meditating. A young man called me. His mother has been in a coma. 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 He was in a coma. The mother's been in a coma. I don't know whether the guy is here. If he's around, he can even wait. He called me and told me, My mom is in a coma. I told him, put your phone on your mother. I just want you to put your phone on your mother. And tell me her names. He told me both of her names. I released Zoe. I don't know that you understand. This is the record. This is the record. This is the record that you have the life of God. This is the record. That inside you there is just not. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. You don't just have any other life. You have the life which is of God. It's inside your spirit. I got the phone. What is it? I call this woman. I call this woman. And I told her you're hearing me. I know you're hearing me. Get up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. In just a few. The eyes just. I'm also going to be cook. This is not to Apostle Grace. This is the record. This is the record. That you woman. You woman. You man of God. You have eternal life. You have the life which is of God. It is inside you. It is inside you. That's why he said. If ye abide in me. Ah. 
you can abide in something else. But he says, but if you abide in if you abide in me, me, if you logo, if you abide in logo, and my rema abides in you, if you you abide in me, get inside me. I am the life. I carry the life of God. He says, if you abide in me, you enter me. You go. Oh, lift Kawempe. Enter me. Kawempe. Lift the Guru. Enter me. Lift the Nasuba. Enter me. If he abide in me, and my word abide in you, he said, You shall ask what you say. Sibiri na mukati. I'm not even. Sibiri na mu. I'm not in it anymore. Gwe saba gwe chini ya gala. What? What? Sibiri mu. He says, "So my business." If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask. Muke nda saba. What ye will? Se muaga la mu. Ye will. Mu te muaga. You what do you want? Mu ya gala ti. You what you oh you are gonna take quick 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 what what you what do you want? Me I know what I want. Your neighbor knows what they want. You what do you want? They said if you ask, if you abide, if you stay in me, we've been so out of God for so long. We we were in church, but we were out of God for so long. This is the record. He said, "If you abide in me, you abide in me." This is this is a promise. This is a commitment by God. He said, "If you abide in me." And my words abide in you. He said, "What do you want?" Open check. What do you want? Yagalachi. Katolaba this is more than a healing meeting. Do you realize that this is it's What do you want? O yagalachi. He said you shall ask o chakusaba anything. Cho nacho yagalachi. You will. Cho yagalachi. Anything. Cho nacho yagalachi. Anything. Cho And the Bible says it shall be done. Bible le gamba chitya kokolewa. The Greek word is ginomai. Eh chiga mucho yona chiki ginomai. It shall be done now. When I studied Ginomai, I was shocked. When I didn't make any Ginomai, Ginomai meant Ginomai even if it doesn't exist, he will create it. Oh God! Ha. Do you know the meaning of it? Oh, oh. Ha. Hey, Ginomai, it will be generated. It will come out of the blue. Meaning there are people who can ask for things that don't exist. Ah. God has said even if you want you have never seen it in your family you have never seen it in your relatives you have not seen it in Uganda it has not been in Kampala you have never seen it in Africa you have never read it in a newspaper never heard it on radio never seen it on TV he said us You ask. You ask. Why? You have the life that makes it. You have the life that generates it. You have the life. The Bible says, with the word, we understand by faith that the world was framed by the word of God. That the things which are seen were not made of things which to appear. Did you hear? Which to appear? Did you hear? Which to appear? That means there are things which are presently appearing. They are there. But they come on screen every day. Which to appear is present continuing. Meaning every morning. There are things that are appearing. Because of the prayers. Of you. You haven't got an Tell your neighbor you've seen nothing. Yet. 
Or have you contacted the Maybe now you Tell have you never you've seen nothing yet. Tell you if I have so way inside. And the so way that I have can create things and they can appear any second from now. Oh. I'm going ah. deep. When I read that scripture, when I realized if I should meditate on Ginomai, we are moving into a realm where a man will wake up and say, and it appears. They didn't go to the bond. It wasn't made by a Japanese. It has Mercedes, yes. But it's not made from a Japanese. It just, listen. Listen. God said, let there be light. It was created out of nothing. We didn't form light out of something. No, we formed it out of nothing. He imagined light. He gave it a one. And the letter L I T G H T. something called light. It should exist. And he said, Let there be light. And in that word was the Ginomai to create a certain reality that should appear to God and the Bible says and God saw it and he said oh that is good that is good the spirit has created exactly what I wanted that is why all the testimonies you hear Jesus, God saying, and the Lord saw the light, and He said it was good. Why does He say it was good? Because there is a time frame between the mind of God manufacturing something called light, giving it a name, and the process of the Spirit to create it. When he said, let there be, in his spirit, he knew what he was saying. He had an understanding of what he was saying. But he needed the spirit, which was hovering over the earth, waiting for a word to say, let there be. Now the spirit is Light. Now, when he asks for light, what does he exactly want? Now, the Bible says that the Spirit of God, such as the truth, you understand? He enters the mind of God. He says, You say it light. What do you mean by light? Which light are we talking about? Because there are lights. Which light are we talking about? And the Bible says, Bible and the Lord saw. Let's go back to Let me show you something. Oh, the Lord saw the light. And it was good. And he divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness. And the evening and morning were the first day. Let's go to Genesis 114. Genesis Again, he got another idea. He said, there is light and day. What But in my light and day, what we can create lights. The Holy is saying, what do you mean? And he said, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. The Holy Spirit is saying, You're saying day and night. But in Genesis, before you say day and night, but because he searches the deep things of God, he understands the mind of God. He knows when he says night and day, he doesn't mean night and day. But it's his responsibility also to create this night and this day. 
And he said, let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for the earth for mankind. The spirit could not create light the first light in Genesis 14. Because when they tell him, let there be light, he searches the mind of God to understand which light. When he understands which light, he comes and makes it. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. He comes and makes it. So when the second time God says again, light. The Holy Spirit knows they all shine. But he understands the distinction of the first light and the second light with no need of explanation. Do you understand? You want to explain to because do you think you need to explain just say let there be man the spirit understands what you oh, want. Yeah, take it, that's all you got. Just say, let there be man. Now, if we are in the Kinomai experience, experience, even if there was no man, he will appear in the Melchizedek order with no father, no mother, no, mother, no lengths of days, no roots, no tribe, because you are in a Kinomai yeah, experience. So experiences. For you, you sing. God wants your explanation. God wants your explanation. He knows. Atimani. You. He knows. Quick. Atimani. Even the car you want, the exact no car. Car. They they car. Way they to be light. He knows. Atimani. Now there can be a process. That why you you think think that, that, that car has to come from a bone. And he's saying with this anointing, even if it doesn't come from a bone. bone. I create things out of nothing. You shall ask anything. You shall ask anything. You shall ask. Who am I talking to? You ask anything. And I have the assurance. If it has not existed, he will make it exist. He will make it exist. This is the confidence. I'm not telling you I will be. I'm telling you I am successful. When you wake up and tell someone that you are great, they think you are proud. You are not proud. You have a certain confidence. When you tell somebody, I am rich, they might think you are proud. No. No. This is the record. You have the life of God. God can't say I am rich. And he's poor. Likewise. Now we won't. You can't say. Let me just say you're sick. And then you say. No I am the healed of the Lord. You just say. It. You just say. No joke at the life of God appropriates it and every consequence is stopped immediately 
Because this is no longer Charles speaking upon himself. This is God in a man speaking. That is why when the apostles came and settled among the Gentiles and they did miracles the Gentiles said the gods the gods have come to us in the likeness of men. They could not make a mistake to say the men. What would you get a thing Do you understand what I'm saying? They can't make the mistake to say that the men have come in the likeness of God. But look at the man is like God. No mistake. When they are defining him, look at God who looks like a man. These are the gods coming in the likeness of men. These are not men like God. These are gods like men. Do you understand what I'm saying? Put up your hand. Tell your neighbor, I understand it. Now, he said, I will not leave you. The message version said, the way you left. Disadvantage, disgruntled, out of line. He said, I will send you the Holy Spirit. But I will not send you the Spirit in the other nature. I need to change the life of a man. Get it out of you. Put in the life of God. But now when you have the life of God I send the spirit So when I send the spirit And he's available For a God If the God says Let there be Do you understand what I'm saying? If you say let there be the moment you say let there be the moment you open your mouth and say let there be the moment you just say let there be the Holy Ghost is available to execute the instruction of the God how can you not get an answer? That's why when God saw it, He said, Whatever you ask. Because this is a God asking. With the presence of the Holy Spirit to execute. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. This is a God asking in the presence of the Holy Spirit whose primary mandate is to execute. So that when you say, let there be a Land Rover. The next morning you come to inspect and say, let me see. Mm, it's good. 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 Can, can you see your marriage turn good? Can you see your business turn good? Can you see your, good? Can you see your job turn good? Can you see your, you see your, good? Can you see your ministry turn good? Can you see your vision turn good? Can you see your blood turn good? Can you see your body turn good? Can you see you turn Good. Who understands what I'm saying? Oh. Oh. Uh, Even the salt nature was that I have the life of God. Now let me make you run mad. It's enough that whatever I ask according to what I will is granted. 
Because the spirit is present to execute the instruction of God. Because he that is joined with the Lord is one spirit with the Lord. Corinthians say spirit produces spirit. Flesh produces flesh. So I have the power and the life which is of God. So when I say let there be truth. It doesn't need to come from a Turkish company. Now I understand Peter. Peter can come to our Lord and say, Master, they want taxes. And my Lord says, Go to the mouth of a fish. You will have taxes both for you and and for me. Do you know what he means? Do you know what he means? He means to say because we are in a Ginomai experience we are not limited by where it comes from. When no child is a kota or if we have a liar no child is a sister or a sister or a cousin sister or a connection to NGO you're waiting for that auntie who has a connection in the government who has a best friend who works in Naro to speak to the HR for the HR to speak to the CEO for the CEO to speak to the other guy to get you a job. Promotions come from neither east nor west, but they come from the Lord. The service says, I look upon the hills. Where does my help come? He said, My help comes from the Lord. Gnomai delivered me from counting on any man to deliver what I need from God. Let me say it again. Gnomai delivered me. Basazak. It delivered me to count on any man for what I ask for. Because the spirit I receive can create it out of nothing. It's not pride. Gods don't beg. Kings don't beg. They are given but they don't beg because they know who they are tell anybody know who I am you know who I am I know who I am you know who I am you know who I am I know oh I know who I am. So when we say, let there be fanero, that day the Holy Spirit went at work. And then we looked and said, hey, it is good. Oh, you see, when you understand how to be some of you just wake up in the morning and say let there be and just wait for the spirit who is subject to you to minister there are songs we used to sing there is a song I've remembered it used to go like this Sinza kunonya gabe birunji nemvira mwa obaganda ba I cannot seek who gives the good and I come empty handed Kadinzu de twali tuimba bifu we were singing wrongly The thing was e chintu chali wechit Sinza kukiriza gabe I cannot believe he that gives good Che tunonya munonyi we are not seeking ah uh-uh. ah no Ha 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 no ha ha no I want to see you in what you do Jesus my Jesus When you see you I want to see you And then somebody said Jesus where are you Where are you Where were you and my mother Who are you and my mother 
I have friends I used to Nina I used to do things too. But Now somebody can knock something and say, Jesus! Then I come, yes. Because I, I did think they are calling me. He resides in the mountains and in the seas. A Giuseppe Arena and Aira, and he's in me, and he raises me when I am praying. Taiza, you cannot be alone. He's with me. Can you come on? Yes, who? Go back to Chiba Nai and Bakolechi. Chairman, answer to what is it? Oh, 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 I just do like this. And what they go see one and I lay hands. Just lay hands and a James Mugo Jigoba. I say, Get out! Puma! Oh, Mugaka, Mugaba, Pirich! As a Santa Go, Sirina, take it! Yes, I was Jesus is mine forever and ever. If you are Abraham's seed, if you are Abraham's seed, or rather, if you are Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed. If you are Christ, Christ, do you know you are Christ? Then are you Abraham's seed. Not as of seeds many, but of seed which is one, which is Christ. So if you belong to Christ, you are Christ. You are Christ. Holy Christo. That's what he meant. That I will come back. But when I come back, I won't sit in one place. Take away the There is a way let me make you run mad and we get out of here it was enough that everything I ask is given because I speak what the Holy Ghost executes but it was mind boggling when I understood that he is able to do Exceedingly, no kusing, abundantly, no kusukuruma, above, wakuru, that which worthy I ask, petusa, ha ha ha, all things over the noosa, according to so Give me the amplified. Mupenzi burukusa. Give me the amplified. Mupenzi burukusa. Let's read one to three. Say now to him who by in consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us is able to carry out his purposes and do superabundantly far over about all that we dare to ask or think infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, hopes, 
La rapa catalana. Oh. My God. Oh. 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 La rapa baba. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. <laughs> God, Katon, created the human mind. And the human mind can imagine anything. But he's saying he has the ability to extend his power in execution of anything that you could never imagine. Your mind can never think bigger than what he's able to do. What he's able to do is way bigger than you could ever think or even ask. I mean to say when you get to the end of the best imagination you could ever have God will still be willing to work more you don't get it let's just say you imagine you own the world that is conceivable in a human mind to give it language he can do more Let's just say you imagine you can be the richest person on the earth. He can do more. Let's just say you believe to be the deepest minister in the world. He can still do more. That is why when we get in the life of prayer, when groanings hit our spirit, Paul says the spirit groans in us in words that cannot be uttered by the human being. That means that the depth of our prayer can launch way deeper when the Holy Ghost is in us. Because he can pray in us in groanings which cannot be uttered. The prayer the Holy Ghost makes for you is way bigger than your tongue. Even when they get everything you have. The prayer the Holy Ghost has for you is bigger than the human vocabulary. The whole diction of a man, dictionary, this is how white the American language is. This is how white British English is. There is a prayer of the spirit that is deeper than every word that can ever be said in your mother tongue. That is why some of you should get ready to do things which men will look at and they say we don't know how to call that. Even when he was making you, he avoided to call you a man. He said, Behold, I do a new thing. He looked for the vocabulary and it wasn't he looked, there. He looked for the English word of and he failed. He said, Behold, I do a new he thing. It shall spring forth. It shall spring forth. You shall not. Because when I look at you, you're deeper than a man. You are a thing. You are just a thing. Cult is a name. You are a thing. 
Now things are in Valero. You don't understand there. They are like dying. It's like they are fainting. They are like they are fainting. They are They are fainting. 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 They are How can you be sick? Hey. <laughs> if you're sick right now, start to receive your healing now. Start to speak some words to God now. If you're sick right now, even if you have cancer, If you have HIV, there is a name above Sirim. There is a name above cancer. There is a name above bipolar. There is a name above drug abuse. There is a name above addiction. There is a name above your jaw. There is a name above every name. It is called the name of Jesus. It is called the name of Jesus. I want you to speak in other tongues. If you're sick, the Lord is healing you now. If you're sick, the Lord is healing you now. If you're sick, the Lord is healing you now. You get a munimi. Lele pakata rabalanda rabababa. Oh rabba serere baranda rabba katala. If you're sick, if you're sick, if you're sick, if you're sick, right this very moment, we rebuke and bind and destroy that spirit of infirmity, that spirit of disease. I command it to lose you. I command it to lose you. In the name of Jesus, viruses disappear, bacteria disappear, infection disappear, pain go, pain go. The moment pain leaves, you come. I see God healing people. I see God healing people. If you have a sick person at home, if you have a sick person at home, send forth the power. 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 I want you to speak in other tongues. There is a power healing now. There is a power healing now. Shapanda Katalaba, Rabato Repata, Sharabalanda Lababa, O Rabasere Baba, O Ramaba Rakatala, Sabalana Labaka, Randa Rabasire Baba, Rado Repata Kata, Rigato Rabasureba, Mashata Kaba, Matakapaya, Ragata Rababa, O Ramanda Rabakata, O Rabasara Baba. You get a name raise your voice. Speak in other tongues. Speak in other tongues. Speak in other tongues. Oh Rabba Baka Taraba. Oh Randa Rabba Baba Yalaka. Sharabalanda Rabba Baye. Oh Rabba Serene Pakata. Rada Rabba Sora Babaye. Randa Rabba Sirene Paka. Rada Rabba Sora Bayanda. Lata Kapayanda Rababa. Oh Ramande Paka. Sharapa. The power of God is here. Speaking at the tongue. Landa Rabba Soreba Lalaba. O Ramanda Rabba Serebe Paka. O Rabada Rabba Serebe Baya. Rakata Rabba Baba. God is healing you. God is touching you. God is reviving you. The power of Jesus is 
broken. The power of disease is broken. Oh, Rapa Korendara, Rapa Dorobo Sereba, Rapa Sarababakata, Randa Rapa Sereba. There is power in the name of Jesus. Rapa Sarababa, Oh, Ramando Repaka. Raise your voice. Raise your voice in that name. Raise your voice in that name. Oh, Rapa Bakata. Watch this. 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 Watch Watch this. 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 Watch it works. Chikola. What was wrong with your leg? What you about you? I got an accident and I broke my femur. So they had to put some screws inside. So how are you feeling now? I can walk. Praise God. So can I take this clutch? Yeah, I can take it. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you. Because you stay strong. In Jesus' name. He couldn't walk without it. Don't you believe? This is the way. This is the way. Put your hand on yourself. And say, Baraka. Sakatala. Matakatapaka. You may go and sit. Get away That's the me. end of it. Hey. Now listen. God is healing people now. There is healing here. Claim healing for your family. Claim healing for your sister, your uncle, your auntie. I feel somebody sending a healing now. There is it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Look at that. There is an anointing here. There is an anointing here. We cast that cancer. We cast that affliction. We cast that disease. We cast that disease. We cast that disease. We cast that disease. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now listen. I see some prayer cards here from Lago. Some people wrote they were unable to come. Send forth the life of God in these people's life. Right send, send life. 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 They are getting healed. In Jesus' name. Listen to me. There was a man whose, whose back was broken, whose legs were both broken, and he couldn't walk because they carried over him. He was listening to us on radio. And he got and said to walk immediately in Mulago. That life right now has sent a prayer in Mulago Hospital. And people are getting healed now. People are getting healed now. People are getting healed now. Getting healed now. Next time, 
Do you see the anointing? There's, there's an anointing it's moving here without control there's an anointing moving here I see for just being touched there's a power here just tap into it just tap into it have the Holy Ghost I want us to do something in two minutes. There is a power here. Eh? I see somebody's hands. The Lord is anointing them. Eh? There is a power here. You are going to heal the sick. Eh? Hey, 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 yes, yes. Have the Holy Ghost. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There is an anointing here. It can change anything. It can change any situation. You're going to heal the sick. I see somebody around there. Receive it in the name of Jesus. It's too heavy. It is too heavy. Now listen, look at that, look at that, you see? There is a power, it's going on one by one. One by one. One by one. One by look at that, look at that. Look at that. One by one. One by one. One by one. Look at that. One by one. Look at that. One by look at that. Look at that. Look there. One by one. Look at that upstairs. I told you. Watch that lady. Help that lady. Look at that. Look at that. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. In this anointing, anything can happen. One by one, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. One by one. One by one. Now, listen. Somebody get an impartation right now. Now listen. I need two minutes of your time. Let's stretch our hands toward all these people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Just stretch your hands. Release the way now. Right now in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare. That you will not die. 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 The spirit of death leaves you. The spirit of infirmity leaves you. That spirit of cancer leaves you. You will not die, says the Lord. You will not die. You will not die. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. God is healing you. God is healing you. Now I want you to give the Lord a mighty hand up of praise. Because he has done it. Many of these people are going to testify. The only challenge we have, we don't have time. To go through everyone. But believe me. You people are going to testify. You 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 are going to testify. Tell your neighbor. The life of God is here. Now I want to pray for the rest of you. I speak the life of God. In everything that surrounds your life, your family, your marriage, your ministry, your ministry. I see 13 prof- apostolic anointings here. 13 of them. 
God separate you now. Now, now thirteen of you. Now, look, look at that. Now, 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 look at that. Now, 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 I see seven prophets in this room. God is opening your ears like never before. If your ear is deaf, God is opening it. If you have an eye problem, it's opening. If you're here, and you have a swelling in your body. I want you to check yourself right now. Because I see swellings disappearing. Do you still feel it? Check yourself. Do you still feel that swelling? I feel swellings are disappearing. Somebody had a tumor in their belly. When you get what you will do, press your belly and check. You will check and you won't find it. I feel there's a, a swelling in the stomach leaving somebody's right now. Check yourself. Wake up, baby. You are holy. Check yourself. Wake up, Check yourself. Wake up, If you have any swelling on you, check yourself. Check yourself. Wake up, Check yourself. Wake up, Wake up, baby. Check yourself. Wake up, if you're here and the swelling just disappeared off your body, put up your hand. The rest put down. If you're here and you can feel yourself and something disappeared off your body, put up your hand. Come quickly and tell us what has disappeared. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. They're healed. Come quickly and tell us what has disappeared. You check yourself. Wake a And come quickly and tell us what has disappeared. I feel certain things have disappeared. Hurry, hurry. Come quickly. I saw some hands up. Where are they? I saw somebody. Come and tell us. What has disappeared out of you? Come quickly. You are What has disappeared? Okay, I've been having headaches. Talking of swelling. Swelling inside my stomach. There was something here as you are praying. So I touched there and I spoke healing upon myself. So I feel fine, right? There's nothing there. Yeah. It was swollen. About yeah. the nature of fear. About the nature of fear. About the nature of fear. Um, About the nature of Every time, every time, every time I fast, I get, I get immense pains, especially today. When I was coming, I was feeling a lot of pain inside my stomach. When we were praising, it kind of went, and then it came back strongly. When we were preaching, I was in so much pain. But I found that it is now gone. Thank you. Yes, tell us. I've had a swelling in my armpit. For how long? Many years. Many years. Many years. Many years. Many years. Many years. Are you hearing what we're saying here? Mulida. Swelling in the armpit for how many years? Six years. What has happened? It has disappeared. It's it's so well. Well. Tell your neighbor it is away. God bless you. Yes, tell us. Praise God. I had a swelling in my armpit as well. Like a month. So our I was still I was starting to doubt if it was even a swelling. I thought it was something else, but, but I just touched and there is no one. The swelling has not disappeared. Another one has disappeared. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. 
We're going to stay back and pray for a few more sick people. But I want you to believe that your heels. What has disappeared? Yeah. She got the whole sermon last night. What about they were? Now, if somebody even dreamt this sermon, what are you thinking? <laughs> the message you have just heard was brought to you by Fenero Ministries International. For more information, contact us on telephone number 041 466 4291 or email us at Kampala at gmail.com You can also find us on the web at www.funero.org Or better still, feel free to join us every Thursday for our weekly fellowships at Uma Multipurpose Hall from 5pm to 8pm You can also catch the live stream at livestream.com slash Fenero Fenero, make manifest